Tell, what are you telling me? This is Coogan Cassius for I. Bro, you're like. I got here an hour ago, you know that. Bro, I told you what time to get. If you want to get here early, that's up to you. You're, you're moving in some Sri Lankan time. You told me to get here at half ten. Yeah. It's now one o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> 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 bro, the road is busy, man. The road is so busy, bro. I would have thought now you would have had a driver. No, no, I'm not about that life, man. I stay in my lane. I don't, I don't like excitement. The yeah, like Jeeves. No. Jeeves, wait with the car. You know, Hello, the, Jeeves. You know, wait with the car. <laughs> you know, the more excitement you create is the more problems it costs. I just like to just be relaxed, simple. I don't like doing too, creating too much commotions and that. Man. I just like to just, I'm low key. You know, most of the time I was with myself or with my brother, I would family, I, I'm my close mates, man. That's it. I'm not one of them guys that like to show off and do this and do, no, I just like to just take it easy, man. Low key. Are you saying kind of since over the last sort of three or four years your outside life hasn't really altered that much? No, no, I do the same thing, bro. I stay in the same place. I do the same thing. I don't create excitement, man. I just, I just be, I'm just a normal guy, bro. I don't think I'm nothing special. It's a normal guy. I do normal things. Drive my own car. Drive myself. Go to places. Yeah, I just do normal stuff, bro. I don't, I don't, I don't, you know, just keep it, just keep it grounded, man. Do you, still, do you go on the tube? Yeah, I do sometimes. Yeah. I do sometimes, of course. You know, you can't keep away from the people. The people is what made you, so you gotta mix with them, man. Right? You, you know, sometimes it's difficult, but you gotta mingle with the people, stay above, stay among the people. You know? can't get get too far away from yourself. I can't picture you on a bus though. <laughs> I won't get on the bus. I don't mind. I jump on the bus. I jump on the bus. Yeah. I jump on the bus. Yeah. I just like where where I, where I live at. It's the bus is just long. <laughs> it is long, and it's cold as hell waiting outside with the bus. Walk in the bus. Listen, none of these things. I don't think I'm above any of these things, man. Protein ice cream. I get protein ice cream. <laughs> um, we saw last week. Uh, obviously, Eddie Hearn had revealed <coughs> that an offer had been made to Andy mm -hmm. Ruiz. Let's mm -hmm. talk about that first of all. Any kind of inkling about that offer? It's simple. The offer went out. If you want it, you can get it. Simple as that. Did simple you get any feedback? I don't know. I'm waiting to see um, what Eddie's um, is doing. And obviously, you know, um, see what other options is there as well, man. You know, I think it's time to go, up, go back out to the market as well and see what's what, man. Try and set stuff up. Get, you know, I'm about getting big fights this year, man. And, you know, whoever. However, they can be delivered. I'm up for if they're in America, if they're in Africa, wherever. I'm down. Anyone can deliver in big fights. I'm, I'm on it. Because it seems the front run at the moment is Pavetkin. Is that fair to say? Well, we made Andy Ruiz an offer first before Pavetkin. So let's see. Let's see if he wants it, man. The two fat boys can slug it up. See who's got the tougher belly. Me and him. What? Obviously, just let like people know you're actually just filming a documentary here today, aren't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. But you know, it's my little ends in it. So I see the man them and that from back in the day. That, that guy is a guy I, I grew up with. Yeah. yeah. I grew up with him and his younger brother. What in Jamaica? No. In Sri Lanka. You grew up in Jamaica, then, didn't you? I grew up in Sri Lanka. No, I, I was there till I was twelve. Then I came here. How did you get over it? I swam here. Oh, see, you know what? <laughs> I, I jumped off fence. I snapped in. How did you get here? No, obviously you got here, come here on a plane. No, I walked about 2,000 miles. Was that the first time you'd been on a plane, though? <laughs> At 12? Yeah, first. Well, I was just when took off, I was like that. <laughs> what, what was the airline? Do you remember? Think, Air Kingston. No, because remember, we, we, we was in the British colony for years, didn't it? Yeah. Jamaica was in the British colony, so... You know, or did you get it? That's the most interesting thing. <laughs> or did you get it? And don't even lie. Don't tell me you was born in Essex. I was. No, you wasn't. You're a liar. Have you heard of Chelmsford? No. You've never heard of Chelmsford? You no. spend a lot of time in Essex as well, and you I don't know where Chelmsford. Chelmsford is. I've heard of Chelmsford. Chelmsford? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's where I was born. Chelmsford? Yeah. What, is that place in Sri Lanka? No, it's in Essex. No. It's a place in Sri Lanka. Ah, oh, is it in Pakistan? 
No, it's completely different. Where are you from? Sri Lanka, Pakistan? Sri Lanka. Okay, just, just double check. My it. parents are from a place called Jaffna. My parents are from a place called Wakanda. Okay, that's nice. Very really nice. Jacket is sick at the back. So, when do you expect to know? First of all, date wise. When I punch up at the end next week. Punch him up Did you have a nice week. meeting the other day? You know, with Eddie, it's like it's funny meetings, man. You know, Eddie always he always holds something back. You know, he's always holding something back, and you know, he never say yeah. You know, it's, it's funny. We have good meetings, but it's always a funny one with him, man. You know, it's like he's got his plans or whatever. Like, Is he on edge when he has a meeting with you? I don't, I don't know. He should be. He should be. Well, why shouldn't he be? He should be. You know, he should be because. I'm not like trying to get the best deal for me and what's best for me, so it should be an edge. For me, money's not an edge, and I'm not doing my job as a manager, am I? We know there's a date there, March 28th at, at the O2. Mm -hmm. How realistic is that a, a possibility that, that will be your fight date? You'll find out the next week or so. What's your other option to that then? We'll find out in the next week or so. Just give me Have a you got a magic lamp with a genie in it? Yeah, let me rub your bald head. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, let me rub your balls then. I was going to say, okay. No, man, you sound it weird for. No, 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 but my head's not bald, so I shave my balls once well, a month. It's very nice and shiny when it's bald. <laughs> What's your other option to the 28th then? To go into April, obviously. Wait and see. Wait and see. Why you, see, you said Eddie's always holding back. Why are you holding back now? Because you know already what's what, you know, you're, you're, you're a bit of a, a plug, you're like the British Mike Coppinger, isn't it? You're like, you're like the, the Asian Mike Coppinger. Okay. All right. Respectable journalist in the US. I don't even I, see you as I'll an Asian, you know, I don't. All right, what I am see I more of a white man than an Asian. What, you see a white man or you hear a white man? No, I see and hear a white man in you, they're more of an Asian. Yeah? Hmm. You might be Scottish or something. No, I'm British. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's because of your accent. You speak good English, Sri Lankan. Will you definitely fight in London? I don't, I don't know, bro. You I do know. know? I don't know. Why are you looking at me, being awkward. Just answer questions. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Is there a possibility you could fight in Manchester? I could fight O2, Manchester, um, maybe even Copper Box. Who knows? I might, maybe even Excel. I might do something different. I might fight in America. What did you make of uh, Fury's comments a couple of days ago? We'll see in it. That's a green about boxing. We'll see. Fury said he was going to fight me before. He said he's got three fights left. Yeah, but, but he said he said he was going to fight me before, though, didn't he? He said, oh, yeah, I'll fight Dillian if they give me the British... The, 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 not British, the, the, the diamond belt. The WBC mandated it and scheduled it. And he didn't, he pulled out of the fight, so let's see, well, but, listen, I don't know, man, I don't know, I think, I don't know. But I think he said it in kind of good faith, didn't he? He said, look, if he's got three fights, he said that you've been messed around for however long that he would... Yeah, but, but Fury is very good at conning the public and saying the right things to keep the public interested. He's very good at doing that, he's always done that, you know, and he continues to do so. He cons the public all the time and say things to get the public on his side. Of course, that's something he would say to Chen Wen Wilder, and of course that's something he would say to try and get the people behind him. Oh yeah, he's such a good guy, he's doing the right thing, but who knows, you know, he talks a lot of shit as well. So I, I don't buy into it, I don't buy into that. Let's see what happens. If he wants it, he can get it. Simple as that. I'm the Jamaican, I'm the Sri Lankan, I'm the Mexican, I'm the African, I'm the... You nicked this off Browner, didn't you? Yeah, kind you of. Did. <laughs> <laughs> You so you're fighting Pavetkin, yeah? I, think that's I don't know who I'm fighting yet, bro. I don't know. I don't understand it. No. When's the last time like you spoke to, to her? I'd like to fight Manuel Char, to be Yeah, honest. I was going to ask you about Char I'd as like well. I'd like to fight him because I'll bash his head in and take his belt. What? What's... The same belt David A. Is it so just I'll... for the belt? <clears throat> just for the belt. Where else am I going to fight Char for? He's held, he's held that belt ransom for almost three years. It's like he, he's held that belt... For the rule negotiations for like you, you need a hostage negotiation to go negotiate with him for the belt. And he's deluded, he thinks that he's he thinks he's a, he thinks that he's a major star and he 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 he, he warrant um 
a lot of money when he doesn't, you know, he's just nobody. Why do you want to be, win the regular though? Because you know, I, love his, I want more silverware for my house, bro. You know, I want more belts and I run around naked, I got more bits to cover more bits. That's how I do at Wyndham and I go to my house and just walk around naked. You just need a Gucci belt for that. No, no, I, I got a lot of curlage, bro. Oh. I got a lot of curlage. I need a few belts. To I've never heard no, that you, term you, before. You need a Gucci belt because you got the small thing. Just the little buckle just. Yeah. You've not seen that. Hmm? You've not seen that. I don't see what. You've not seen me in shower. <laughs> no, I don't want to see you in shower. I bet you're mad hairy as well. It's a mad not really. Hairy. Of course you are, bro. No, do you you're know what? Shrunken, I'm actually not. Do you want to see my leg? No, bro, I like. Bro, do you want yeah, to you see, see your leg, bro? I like. You look at that no, done. No, no, no. You know that done that goes. Why is it so dry, bro? Show them your leg or dry is. Show me your leg or dry is. Do you want to talk about dryness? Yeah. Come here. Bro, no, put it away. There you go. Look, my thing's cream and, and nice. Look, that's bullet <laughs> holes. Look at that. Can you see that? Is it? Is it? Is it? Yeah, look. Is that actual? Is yeah. it actual? Yeah, look, press it. Nah, go away. Yeah, look. You got shot in the legs. Because yeah. I'm not stupid. I run. When I see the machine, I start running quickly. What about there? What's that? That's where my penis ricocheted. <laughs> 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 I fell out my boxers <laughs> one time and ricocheted. Uh, <laughs> I thought my knees went, but it wasn't. But <laughs> um, this comments that you made about seeing Wilder KO'd in sparring by Klitschko. How come you've kind of come out with that now? I said it before. Johnny Nelson said it before. I said it before. You were there? Yeah. Was there training. Okay. He got banged over with his hands up as well. No, Klitschko got that hook that he faints to the body and turned into a hook. While the skin out, he just, he looked like, you know, Bambi was on the high and after that, he just sprawled out. You know? Are you over-exaggerating a little bit? Because he's obviously come out and denied all this. Of course he's going to deny it. Well done. Ask Ali Bashir. Phone James Ali Bashir and ask him. Did the end to where Do you know when I come into camp? Mm -hmm. Was it then? You're saying? Do you remember I come into camp and you had a little row with someone? No, that was another time. That was another time. You know what I'm on about, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I come into camp. Time. That's when I was on a, That's when I was on a stronger burn to death. Burn Bonte. Because he's got an attitude. He thinks that he's something special. I was there that day and that's when actually Burn Bonte used to actually talk to me. But um, he didn't... He's a dick, isn't he? But he said he didn't want you in the gym publicising your fight with Joshua. Yeah, but, but I wasn't. Is that what you said to you? Yeah, I, I wasn't public because the fights was two weeks apart. I wasn't publicizing the fight. I'm there to train for my fight. We got the me and Chris has got the same. What was coach. it? You didn't want you doing interviews? Am I right in saying I that? Say, he was just talking shit. He was just talking shit. I should have punched him in the throat. You know, I should have just to give him the real uppercut in the throat. I was there that day, and I've obviously never spoken about it before, but. I was a bit worried for Burnt Bonty on that particular like, day. You know me, I don't start no trouble. I'm no, I know that, but he, but he, he was, was rude. I thought he was rude, yeah. He was I, rude. I, I was rude. I was listen, he's lucky. I was going to kill him, but, but in between the time waiting for him outside, you see, I, I was just relaxed. You know, I, I weren't shouting, I weren't going mad. You see, I just, I just wait outside for him. You know, some people shout and you scream. You were fuming myself. that day. You I, were just, absolutely I was waiting, bro. I waited. Why did I wait? Two hours. I was yeah, waiting. Yeah, I know, you waited, waited there, yeah. But in between waiting for him, a good friend of mine's called me. Good respectful friend of mine has called me, we had a conversation and he calmed me down. You know what that says you need to have good people around you. Living I need to get skipping, brother. To get with their training. What are you on about? You say eleven thirty. No mate, you're not wrapping this up now. This no, is like no, I'm not, I'm not. it's go taking on. me two and a half hours to get here, yeah, an hour on. to wait for you. Go on, sir, go on. Um so it wasn't that time you were talking about? No, no, it's another time. I'll kiss your training for another fight. And then he got that big kabosh. He sat down. He sat down. But while he was doing all right, he was having a go, but, you know, he just got clocked. He was having a go, he just got clocked. Have you ever been dropped in sparring? No. Never? I've been rocked in sparring. Though. Who's rocked you? <laughs> a, few, a few people have tested the whiskers, boy. A few people have been who, like... Who would you say in sparring as kind of you thought, fucking hell? You know, it depends. Even years ago, not necessarily. No, like it depends, it depends. A few of these guys, it depends. 
It depends. A few of these guys. It depends on um, a lot of people, man. You know who could punch? David Price could punch. And then I started sparring him when I first turned pro. And he could punch. David Hay. You know, all of those guys. You know, all of these guys. You know, because they was very experienced when I was coming for him. They, 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 you know, these guys were sharp, landed big, slight, slick punches, man. You know, and I was just raw and rugged, so I walked into a few, a few corkers in my time, boy. But I don't, I don't show it. I just, I just take it and just think, hmm, it's a good one, boy. There's always a big conspiracy theory around heavyweight sparring, isn't there? Who dropped? I mean, everyone's claimed to drop Joshua over the years, haven't they? About ten fighters have claimed to have done that. But he haven't denied any of it, so there must be some truth to it. He haven't denied any of it. He haven't said, but but it is not sparring, sparring though. Most people get knocked down in fights or get dropped in. If you have what, you're going to get knocked out at some point. You're going to get dropped at some point. You're going to get rocked at some point. You know, you might even get injured at some point from, from punches because we're heavy. It's a big guy, so don't be surprised. You know, it doesn't mean nothing. He, he does his thing in the ring, wins his fights and whatever, you know. That's the same way he was undefeated for long. He knocked everyone out. Everyone said he's a god and then he got knocked out. It's heavyweight boxing, you know. Him and his team, they made a lot of memes when I got when I got stopped. I didn't do any of that when he got stopped because I understand I'm a student of the game. I understand as a heavyweight, you will get put in your ass at some point. It's only a matter of time. Hmm. Chizora Usek, good fight for Ivor. I think Chizora beats him if he's in shape. If Derek's in shape and he's motivated, Usek will have a, a one hell of a time because if Derek's motivated and Derek. Why does Usyk right want to take a fight with Chizora when he's he thinks kind of he can easily outbox Derek? He's thinking, oh, Derek's but when he's already mandatory for Joshua. Yeah, but what's he gonna do? He just ain't gonna fight him next. Just uh, if it was meant Joshua fight Paul if next. I just had a hard fight. I just had a, a very. He just had two very high emotional fights. One he got knocked out, and a second one he was an edge. It was an edge. So you know, he looked good against Paul if knocked Paul if out. Usyk may be a bit tricky. You know, he would beat Usyk as well. Also, could be a lot harder right now. Pulev would be. Mm. So you think an on form and fit Derek is Yes, one hundred percent. I think he beat Usyk. Usyk's underestimating Derek, and I would advise him not to. Derek comes in in shape and is motivated. He beats a lot of guys, and he give a lot of guys hell of a night. He gave me two hell of a nights. You know, and I was in shape for both of them fights. And we are expecting Joshua to face Pulev next. We, I think, that was always course, the case. Of course, of course, of course, of course. Why would he want to take another potential tricky fight? You know, you not saying we're not saying we're We took the fight, pull it from what we couldn't come up with the money because those broke. So they just ain't got no money. Whatever his name is, he's broke. We accepted the fight. Those broke. And they're saying, come to Romania. Where am I going to go to Romania when you ain't got the money? Bulgaria. Bulgaria. Wherever. Where am I going to go there when you haven't got the money? I'll go there if you. What am I going to? What go there fight and then I'm not going to. No, we offered him. Money, come here, the money is guaranteed there, you know. But there's a lot of deluded people in boxing and that rubbish. It's like Luis Ortiz, people say, um, I've offered to fight Luis Ortiz many times. We tried to make fight. Ask Eddie next time you see him. Ask him, did we... Is that an option for your fight? I'm not really, no. No, he's just coming off and being knocked up. Well, what do I gain from fighting him? You know, nothing. I go three rounds with him. Or six rounds, or ten rounds, or twelve rounds. Oh, the enter would have knocked him out in this or whatever. No, I gained nothing from that. Have you just now accepted that you were going to wait a year? No. For your shot. I Are don't you? accept nothing. You're not accepting that. No. When I see Wilder, I'm going to just grab his belt, run off, and punch him in the back of his head. <laughs> don't keep punch him and run. No, but realistically, come no, on. No, yeah. 2021 is when you're going to get your WBC shot, yeah. I'm going to donkey punch Wilder and run. You know what donkey punching is? Yeah. Right in the back of his head. Mm. That's, I've seen a film about that. No, I won't be doing... Have right you watched that thing called Don't Fuck With Cats? Yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> I, mad. No, don't even mention it. That thing, what? That thing, no, that thing's weird, man. That's weird, isn't it's it? It's a weird thing. No, but it's do you know weird. like the people got so obsessed with it's it, It's weird, it's weird, it's weird. The kids have fed those cats to the snake. That it's was a weird disgusting. Thing. That was the, thing. one of the worst things. I know you didn't see the full footage and I wouldn't go and look for that, but that was horrendous. Um, yeah, I wonder if you'd watch it. Yeah. I need to go and train. Though. Hold on, hold on. Just, just, just three minutes. Three okay. minutes. Four minutes. Six minutes. Um, what's your thoughts about the 22nd next month? What, what do you think happens in that fight? 22nd. 
Fury Wilder too. I don't care, man. I don't care. I honestly don't care. I don't care who wins or loses. I don't care. Because I don't think none of them is going to fight me voluntarily or willingly. You know, I don't care. I don't care. I really don't care. Let's see. Because they're both chat I know you don't care, but who do you... F I don't care. I don't care. Who's ever win their problem? Who's ever lose their problem? The great, the funny thing that fight that loses got a chance to trigger the rematch. So I don't care. Are you still working something out with the WBC? My team's on it. My team's on it. My team's on it. So you're not just letting this go and going, all right, I'll just sit back. You're actually no, doing no, my something team's about on it. it. My team's, listen, they promised me the mandatory. I fought for it. I fought more top 10 and top 15 contenders than in the entire world I did. So I'm WBC intramural champion. Why should I have to wait and just let them have free fights and then lose it to trigger the, the, the rematch? What, am I a mug? No, you're not. No, you took a bit long to answer. I had to think about it for a second. That's all right. There's many things you thought about. It. I Means I got this deep fear in Stalin. What did you say about Joshua the other day? If you run into him in the street, you, you were to be cold. Did you say? What did you say? The guy is okay. It's nice when people become friends, isn't it? Yeah, the guy is okay. He's all right. Are you all right? Mm. Are you okay? Is it because you haven't cut your hair in about four years? I've my hair even that long. Why is everyone going on about it, bro? What goes on about it? You see that picture I put of you? You're <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a fool. <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, okay. Oh, you're taking on my power, man. What are you on about? Are these people waiting? Yeah. Yeah. You've got to train first and then... They, they're really in part of the training as part of it. There's a whole team of 20 people into this documentary. See, I put them all on the side for AFL. Tell me I'm not liars to the thing. What? What do you mean? The whole BBC, I put there to them to wait. So I do my AFL interview. Yeah, you did actually do that. You yeah. actually walked in and went, I've got to do this for Coogan first. Of course. Because he was at my second Never. pro fight and you weren't. Respect. It's a respect thing. I need to keep my Sri Lankan population healthy. Can you just let me know... Will we find out your date and opponent? You know this before week? everyone else, though. You always know everything. You know what's going on. Don't act like you don't know. Yeah, what's but going I'm on. asking you. I can't tell people. You can. I'll tell them soon. Stay tuned. By next week, hopefully. What a bill! Imagine you you fought on the same bill as Dell and Newsick. Would that happen? No. No. I'm, I'm a whole main. I'm back to my my old. I just put on good cards, man. I would have fought the same bill as Dell. You're a headliner, isn't it? You like heads, don't huh? you? like giving head, don't you? You're disgusting. <laughs> no, I'm just asking you a question. Nothing wrong no, with No, I it. said headliner. Oh, okay. Yeah. That is a headliner. That is a headliner. Please tell me you got that in me. I don't know. Maybe. Bro, Respect to that man. You, you got no, confidence. He's a slap. No. That's what he needs. Who dare him walk around like that? I notice how you're whispering there as well. No, you're, not no talking, you're not talking to you might, somebody. He might, he, might, he, might, he might be a bad man, Rasta. He might back his knife. You don't know. You're in the ends now. I'll push you in front of him. All right. Well, listen. Just tell, tell what are you doing for the rest of the day. You're doing this and then what? Doing this train. I've got to speak to some gangbangers about gangbanging and stuff. And, you know, what, what um, opportunity sports give them to change their life if they're dedicated and stuff. And you know, just do my little bits to the community. That's all, man. That I do. I don't usually video it or whatever, but BBC got wind of certain things and then they want to do a little bit of stuff, so, you know. Do you go out like Christmas Day giving out turkeys and that? No. Out of a lot? I, I eat the whole turkeys myself. No, do you not do that? Round, no, I, go no. around Brixton and giving out no, turkeys and that? I don't give up food. I give up money and water, but not food. Money and water? <laughs> not food. I don't give up food. I don't play with it. Don't play with my food. Where do you think this gut come from? Yeah, when are you going to get a bit of a six pack going on? I got a six pack in my fridge. I got a six pack of Super Bowl. You don't drink Super Bowl, do you? I do. You look like you've trimmed down a bit, though. Don't watch that. Man's on it. How you doing, man? Bless, man. Respect, man. What's up? Respect, man. Most of that, listen. If you didn't get, I'm gonna smack. I you. did. Eh? Did I just, get? I just panned then. 
See, you didn't say it. This is what I'm saying. Anyone can get it, yeah? You and anyone can get it. He's Jamaican. No Jamaican can get it. You just called the man out. The man come for you and you folded. You folded. I need to bounce though. I need to go and train. Listen, sorry to think. Let's do another one. Now listen, when your fight's announced now, okay, I just wanted cool. to get we'll this one in before, man. We'll do a proper sit-down. Probably it to be a weekend day's bet, we'll do a proper sit-down and do it. All right, can you just give me a w tell people warning? So, just repeat after me, yeah, because I'm going to clip this out okay. and put it here, so say, Hi, Re just repeat after me. Hi. My name is Dylan White. My name is Coogan Cassis. No, my name is Dylan White. My name is Sexy Motherfucker. Watch my interview. Watch my interview on IFL TV tonight. On IFL TV. And please don't put no AFL sign in the back of it like you do the Eddie's interview. Bruv, you got no sound that. No, we'll don't do that, bro. Don't do that. I don't write for AFL. Uh, it's my thing. No, don't I do brand that. My don't team. do that. Don't no. do. That. I'm, I'm gonna set up no context. Did in white. I've, do I've already done it this morning. No, no, don't do that. I've already so done don't it. Don't put way. no AFL in the back of it. Okay, video. I won't. Don't do that. If you do that, you're gonna I won't punch be me upset. Out. You're gonna I won't be happy. You're gonna punch me out. No, I'm gonna punch you up. I'm putting it on there, 100%. No, don't do that. Bro, that's don't that's do a that. new thing. Do you have to let him make Ty and Booth eat, bro. Why do you keep doing this to Ty and Booth? Let him eat. No, it's nothing to do with Ty and let him, let him eat, bro. It's nothing to do with Ty and Booth. Let Ty and eat. Give Ty and a break, man. But listen, You've I got confused to, here. It's nothing to do with that. I'm branding off. my own content. Ty and's my boy. No, I'm joking. Oh, respect. Listen. The guys are on to me. He just gave me that. Okay. Eye. Listen, respect to everyone doing their thing. No, no, I'm joking, bruv. Come on, man. But I'm going to put... Do you know what I'm going to put? I'm going to put the IFL thing right here. I'll put TBS in there as well. All right, send me the logo then. In the next 20 minutes, all right? Just put follow Dillian White on Instagram. I'll put that on there. I'll put your, bruv, I'll put your thing on there. Plug in the followers, bruv. Why am right, I, I, put why that why on I there. selling 300 Jewel. followers, bruv? Plug you. Tell them to get you. You told Dillian, me bruv. after your full fight. You got more followers than me. You tell me after your full fight, you put IFL on you your shorts. You got more followers than me. No, I ain't. You do. Why? What are you doing that I'm, I'm missing out on? I'm going to come back for that one day. What? The logo on the shorts. You, you promised me after your full fight. I didn't fight. promise you that. Yeah, you did. I've got it well, on. Where's the proof? It's on an interview. Find it. If I find it, you're going to put it on, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Dylan Wright, right. thank you very much. Talking to our Apple TV. Out. Gold Star Promotions is proud to present Floyd Money Mayweather. The man himself is coming to the UK for his UK tour, February and March 2020. For all info and tickets, Gold Star Promotions, the host of the UK.